So I'm back in London and apparently I bought the Portuguese weather with me, which is delightful. I turned up to the shoot today and I was like, I'm just gonna rock up like I'm still on holiday. Um, so today we are doing a little SLA content half day shoot. We've got the brand new zip up hoodies and the sweatshorts launching on Sunday. So actually when this vlog goes live, they'll be going up. Um, so I thought we'd just get some extra content around it. We've got Rihanna in today who is our fave SLA girl. And um, yeah, I'm excited to show you guys all of the colors and things because I'm not sure if I managed to get them all in the last vlog. And um, we're at this amazing studio over in like sort of I don't know, were we West London? Yeah. West London, I think. My geography of London is awful. It's such a beautiful sunny day, it's so nice. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get some content. I honestly feel like I'm just one big sweaty mess today. <laughs> so shiny. England in the heat, we're just not ready for it. 27 degrees, that's wild. Um, so if you haven't already guessed, obviously, <laughs> The SLA shoot was over and done with very quickly. I'm really sorry I didn't get any vlog footage. Honestly, I feel like I, I, I'm so overrun at the shoots because I'm trying to do the job of about seven people. Um, and then I also think that I've got time to vlog. Oh, sorry, this cars are being so noisy outside. Um, yeah, and then obviously I also feel like, oh, I'll vlog and then realize I actually haven't got the time or the hands for it. So, um, but there will be, obviously, as I said, the, the stuff that we were shooting today will be going live on SLA tonight at 6 p.m. Um, Sunday. So I've decided what I'm gonna do is do a little try on haul on my Instagram story, which will still be live when this vlog goes up because I'll put it up on Sunday. So if you guys are watching this when this goes up, head over there so you can see everything tried on and I'll explain sizes and all that sort of stuff there. Um, and then I'll save it as a highlight anyway. So even if you've missed it, it'll be on there. But no, I'm really excited. Um, I just feel like at the moment, I'm very, I'm really overwhelmed with the work because I know I've said this before, but I don't think I understood like how much of my time SLA would take up and so it's re becoming really difficult to juggle the influencer side of things and SLA and I feel like when you have a business you want to put a hundred percent into it and at the moment I feel like it's getting like 80% because I'm still trying to do like 20% elsewhere and um, yeah it's very overwhelming honestly like shout out to anyone running their own business because this shit is hard like it's so so hard so honestly any sp small business owners business owners big business owners whatever business owner you are like honestly like it's amazing that we are doing this and it's hard it's really hard um so yeah i just wanted to say that yeah basically shout out to the business owners it's a lot of work um but anyway so i'm currently sat here because i need to get all of the website updated and ready for the launch on sunday um because i've got some i've got a couple of busy things to do over the next couple of days and obviously it needs to be done um but i'm also having a little look at some fabrics, which have some beautiful colors on it, for a very exciting collection that we'll have launching in summer. We're so close now to launching um, the other side of the business. <laughs> um, we're literally so close we, close, we actually have the shoot for it next week, um, which is a really big, big event, because it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm nervous, I think, because it's such a, it's such a different side to SLA and I'm just hoping everyone will love it as much as they love the loungewear. Um, but yeah, so then we're getting really close to the launch and being able to share sneak peeks and I'm honestly obsessed with everything. Um, so I'm hoping you guys will love it too because I'm obsessed with it. And I feel like we're all on the same wavelength. We've all got great taste and we all love colourful clothing. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> Um, so anyway, um, yeah, so I'm really sorry as I say that I didn't get a chance to vlog at the shoot, but sometimes it just doesn't work out. Um, but as I say, go to my Instagram story if you want to see a little mini try on haul, it will be over there. Can you believe it's been almost a week since the Friends reunion came out it's and we mental. still haven't seen it? We were gonna watch it. I'm embarrassed. We were gonna watch it on the flight and then we decided it wasn't enough, good enough of a setting. No, we needed to be like fully emerged in this so i was like we need to save it till i can watch it on the tv because this is a big old moment it's a big big moment <laughs> the ultimate friends fans here about to watch the reunion i feel like we need popcorn we need snacks we haven't got anything fun i'm on like a health kick since lisbon because we just ate and drank everything and it's not fun so it's not we're quite just the same sitting here in a very basic way yeah but I'm excited. it's not bad to be basic though <laughs> 
I didn't think it was possible to love a program as much as we loved that. Oh my god, it was so, so good. It was unbelievable and I'm actually so pleased that it was as good as we wanted it to be. <sighs> because, to no. It was so funny when they said, when they say Friends has been watched a hundred billion times and I was like, yep, and I'm probably a billion of those viewers. <laughs> Easily, I reckon. Yeah, it's, mental. It was, it was better than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, I just want more of it. It's sad that it's like a one, once off. But we can't get greedy. No. We'll just have to watch it again. Yeah, Every right. time we finish, I actually could see us watching it for a second time. Every time we finish a whole round of the Series 10, then we watch, watch the reunion. It'd be worth it. Yeah, it, it was would emotional. Be. I know, but it won't hit the same. No. I like almost cried about seven times during <laughs> that. Like genuinely, it was like a lump in my throat. Such it got me in the feels. So big time. Yeah. Mental how big time it is. I know. Well, it's just the greatest show in the world. It is. Right, bed. Right. So warm in here. This is such England, <laughs> England heat vibes. Like <sighs> sweltering away. I want aircon. We're back where it all began tonight. <laughs> where it all began. Well, sort of. We're back where we're at the place where Joe asked me to be his girlfriend <laughs> because it's our anniversary tomorrow. Oh, it is. that's nice. How cute. It's three years. Three years. Three whole years of putting up with me. Who would have thunk it? No, I didn't. <laughs> no? No. You yeah, deserve that's... a medal if I'm being completely honest. Thank you. You're very kind of you so. Being extra nice today. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're at the Me Hotel, one of my favourites. Me, Emmy. Do we call it Me or Emmy? I feel like people call it different things. I call it the Me Hotel. Yeah, so do I. Um, which, as we say, we came here on our first official date. And yeah. Joe asked me to be his girlfriend. I did. <laughs> no. um, yeah, so it's actually our anniversary tomorrow, but you're busy tomorrow evening. So we figured that we'd do something tonight and then stay over and then we can wake up in the morning and have like an anniversary breakfast. Cute. Oh, thank you. Um, we're having Italian tonight. Going to Fumo, which is another really, really good Italian in London. Have you been? Yeah, I've been twice. I've never been. Joe's never been. I'm pumped. I just basically just thought Italian can't go wrong, can you? No. Although I'm trying to do a month gluten free at the moment because my stomach keeps like bloating out and becoming so painful. So I'm trying to do their like bit of elimination diet thing and see whether that's what it is. Um, so it's a big test. So Italian and gluten free. It's not going to be fun. I'm going to want all the bread and pasta and I'm going to have to sit there with my burrata. But I'm not mad about that, really. Burrata and wine. Yeah. But for those of you that don't know oh, what the yeah. Me Hotel looks like, this is the bathroom. It's actually one of the best bathrooms. Ow! You okay? <laughs> Excuse me. You stood on my foot. You stood on my foot. It's actually one of my favourite bathrooms in a hotel in London. I just think it's really cool. And I like the black marble floor. Vibey. And then the room looks like this. And you can change the light. They've got these little things by the bed where you can choose the colour of your lighting. So at the moment we've just got it on a calming blue, but when we came in it was bright pink. Hang on, let me change it. Like this. Ooh. Pink. It matches my outfit for tonight, actually. I'm going full, full Barbie. Because it's been a while since I've worn the pink blazer. It's been about two weeks and I miss it. So <laughs> I'm bringing it back out. I know, it's hard to see, isn't it? Thanks. I don't know if we've gone out with me in it, have we? Uh, <laughs> I'm excited to see you in it for the first time. <laughs> So observant. After three years, you're still just as observant. There's many outfits. Still sharp as a tack. It's hard to, hard to keep track, but I'm excited for this one. Thanks. Also, I have to show you the accessories I'm going to wear with my outfit. Obviously, I've got the pink, the pink Zara shoes, which you guys have seen in numerous of my styling hauls. But how cute is this beaded bag? It's also from Zara. I got it a while ago. Well, I say a while ago, like three weeks ago or something. But I haven't had a chance to wear it. And I was like, tonight's the perfect opportunity. And I think it's so, so cute. I mean, I know I go on about these blazers all the time. But I just love the fit of them. I love how they're so boxy. I'm wearing those pink um, Zara shorts underneath that, I, that match that sort of cropped jacket thing um in one of my zara hauls but i sort of thought it's kind of not the right pink but i feel like it works and then i'm wearing this little orange crop top but i'm just gonna roll it up underneath because i think it looks better when it's like a little bit smaller just think that like when it sort of fills up that space it's almost like a bit much so i'm literally just rolling that up underneath so it becomes a little bit more of like a bra sort of style top 
We're on route. We're on route. It's taken us a while. These heels are not made for walking. We've been going at a leisurely pace, but... Yeah, luckily we're not in a rush. No. We moved the table back by an hour, because I was like, nah, I'm not going to be ready. We didn't want to rush. We're not going to be ready. That was looking glorious. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I don't think we're going down this Busy road. So we've made it and the menu looks incredible, doesn't it? I love Italian food. We're just making our way through it. It's so good. So good. Although I'm really sad about the gluten-free life because pasta looks insane. No. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it because pasta and bread is just like the best thing ever. Impossible. I, I, I would be immensely impressed but also completely hey, I went vegan for 30 days and I nailed it you did you so did. I've got quite good willpower but I could have bread yeah. and pasta when I was vegan <laughs> I mean I would fail personally yeah maybe I have to find because I had like vegan pasta didn't I yeah so I have to try and find gluten free pastas that aren't gluten free it's not the gluten free <laughs> Surely. Oh my god, I'm good again. Pass my phone. It's not. It's not good enough. It's really fun. I fucked it. It's got flour in it. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's just fine. <laughs> Lex is turning into the gluten free diaries, but risotto, on the other hand, I mean, I've googled it and it's telling me that it's naturally gluten free. So, wild. We're gonna have to get that, maybe. Sure. Yeah. I feel like these are the funniest shaped arancini I've ever seen. They're quite comical. It's very phallic shaped, I'd say. It's always like a pointy boob. Yeah, I think a phallic is, a, is or, a always a penis. Though. Oh, okay. No, I, no, I was no. going to say, like. Is, that, is it always a penis? I thought it was. This is a really bizarre conversation. When you were like very phallic shaped, I was like. Oh, uh, okay. Well, it's not phallic shaped <laughs> at all. It's... What kind of phallics are you doing? So? <laughs> phallic. Oh Lottie, we just saying I really like the decoration in here, it looks so nice. And these COVID screens are actually a vibe right now, because in London they sit you really close to people, but screens make you feel like you've got your own little private booth. Private. I yeah. can see them, but I'm not really with No, it's like just having something in between people makes a difference. These people did just leave, so I felt like I could show you around, and they just left <laughs> as well. So it gives me a chance to actually vlog without getting people looking at us like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed with tuna tartar. I feel like it's a, you either love it, you hate it, but it's my favorite thing ever. I mean, that looks quite unappealing, but it's so, so good. It looks a bit, a bit better before we... Yeah, but I'm not honestly obsessed with it. Da, 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 da. What's going on here then? What's it called? Affogato. Affogato. Did you have this before? Yeah. Wow. You never had one? No. It's so nice, you like pour the espresso over the top and then it turns like the ice cream into like milky coffee yumminess. Great. Although I can't have my biscotti. What? Because it's what? It's gluten? Surely, it's biscuit. That's such a shame. Maybe. I don't even think I can have that one. We don't want it to go to waste though. What do you reckon we should do? We'll have to eat it. Good, yeah, look, and then it turns into like coffee ice cream flavor. Nice. I feel like my eyes and face have had like such a good sleep. You know, when you wake up and you just feel like your face is needing extra time to wake up. That's how I feel right now. This bed is honestly so comfortable. Such a good hotel room, and the aircon was delightful last night. I'm not gonna lie, it's nothing better when it's hot in England than you come, in a, come to a hotel and you have an aircon. Because just English houses, as we said in this vlog, they're just not prepared for the heat. It was so cute though. We came back last night, and the hotel had put a little balloon in here, and they put like rose petals on the bed. So that was written on the wall when we came in, and then obviously there was all these rose petals, it was really cute, but then they also had this little card, which the quote is so cute. Dear Sarah and Joe, lovers where two hearts find the happy place right beside each other. So we had such a lovely evening, but sadly Joe had to go into work earlier than he thought this morning, so we didn't get to have our anniversary breakfast, but it's fine. <laughs> these things happen when you sort of both run your own businesses, work just sometimes does those sort of things. Um, but I'm gonna go back home now. The weather isn't that nice today, which is sad, I'm hoping that that wasn't just summer. I'm hoping that summer just <laughs> wasn't like three days. Um, but yeah, it's not looking that nice outside. 
So, it's Friday. Um, I've got little bits and bobs to do when I get home. I think I might also pop to the gym. Um, but yeah, nice chilled Friday for me, which is quite nice. I'm gonna sit down and just do some SLA stuff, I think. Also, I'm not sure if you remember in my Lisbon vlog, I was talking about how I always take a steamer to hotels with me. The Me Hotel actually has a steamer in the room. I was really impressed by that. I feel like all hotels should just come with a steamer. It makes so much more sense than an iron. I have just had the most beautiful flower delivery arrive from Joe. <laughs> They're so nice. Honestly, white roses are my favourite flowers. They're just so beautiful. I think it's because they go with all of our home interior. But I love how this came packaged with like a rose on the outside as well. So pretty. Something so nice about getting flowers, isn't there? I feel like it's never, it never gets old. All men just need to remember to do this for the rest of their lives. So I was just about to get ready for the gym, um, but I thought what I would do is I've got a load of stuff in the Gymshark sale um, that I haven't opened up yet, so I thought I might open it and do a first impressions try on, because I know that obviously, I feel like gym wear is such a good thing to watch people try on, because finding good gym wear is so, so difficult. It's not often that I actually get new gym wear, to be honest. It's like the last thing I actually think about getting. So then when I do have a new gym fit, I feel extremely sassy when I turn up. It's like a whole new me. I am already obsessed with this one, and I just love an all black gym set. It's my favorite. Before I start as well, everything I'm wearing is in a size small, in case you're wondering. I feel like I just personally feel more comfortable in a black set when I'm like working out, like lifting weights, but I love a colorful set if I'm doing like Pilates or that sort of thing. It's sort of like, you've got sets for different occasions. This one is amazing. It feels, the material is just like, makes you want to go like this because it's just so stretchy. I also love the fact that the sports bra is like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like it's holding my boobs upwards. It's not just holding them. It feels like it's like lifting them up, which is quite a nice feeling actually. <laughs> Feeling very secure in here. It does have removable padding, but I take the padding out of my sports bras just because I prefer it. I just think they just sort of sit a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I love I love the material. And this one does feel like it would have really good support. Like I'm pretty sure I'll just do some. Breath. Just had to turn this into a quick workout video. Um, no, I pretty sure I could do some running in this as well. It feels like it's got a good sort of like medium support. The length is so good and they're so soft. This gets a thumbs up. I feel like I look like a little bit of a hot mess to be doing a try on haul, but it's gym wear and I'm gonna go to the gym and I was like, well, there's no point in putting any makeup on because I have to take it off and at least it's more of the vibe then, you know? So that set also comes in gray. I think this one is my favorite. I love the way that the pattern goes like this. It's really flattering. It just like, I don't know, there's something about that sort of shape. It makes you almost look like a little bit more hourglass, which is weird. I never thought that having print there would make a difference. But yeah, I really, really like it. The color is so nice. I feel like, as I say, gray, gray or black is a safe bet for me when I'm working out. I feel they're just the colors I feel most comfortable in. And the material of these sets is just so nice. I must say, it's nice at the moment to be able to go to the gym just wearing a sports bra and leggings. I feel like for so long, because obviously it took so long for it to be sunny in England, I was going to the gym like wrapped up and now I'm like walking through the streets like it's summer. But on that note, I'll just, I did actually get some t-shirty things because I know that not everyone wants to just work out in a sports bra. Like, sometimes I just have days where I want to be more covered in the gym, especially when you're like on your period or something. I always feel like whenever I'm on my period and I work out, I want to just feel a bit more covered. So these tops are quite cute. So they're made of this like really soft fabric and then they've got a little tie at the side, which I love because because I still think it's quite, I don't know, something flattering about wearing something cropped to the gym. I just think it it's nice to, I don't know, just sort of see your waist a bit more. Um, but these ones just, I love how it's like a little tie the side you don't have to worry about tying an actual t-shirt it's just meant to be tied and they are made of the nicest material so 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 soft i am in love with this sports bra oh my god it feels so nice the fit of it is amazing it's obviously got like slightly less support i always think sports bras with more of like a strappy strap just generally do have less support but I wear these sort of style ones when I'm just lifting weights. I'm not worrying about my boobs sort of running all over the place. Um, but yeah, I love it. It's got the sort of like crisscross style at the back. But yeah, there's like a really thick sort of strap that goes around the bottom and it feels like it's really secure. So again, they're <laughs> stroking my boobs. I feel like everything's just made out of the softest fabric. So then with these, I thought I would just try on these cycling shorts, which are a little bit longer, but I know it's personal preference with cycling shorts as well. Some people do prefer theirs to be longer. And actually, I know I said 
that I do prefer shorter ones, but these do look really nice. I think they're actually a really flattering sort of shape, especially just with a sports bra like this one. And then the back of the band, it's got written Gymshark across that, which is quite a nice little detail. This is actually the same. I've got this set. Um, so the cycling shorts kind of all match this. I've got leggings and then also a top. So there's like a long sleeve version of the top which matches the shorts it's got the the wording on the back so i might try that one on with the leggings but this would also all match the cycling shorts because it's the same collection okay first thing that i've noticed that i'm absolutely in love with look how high waisted these are i could basically just keep going with them the dream i <laughs> turn it into an all-in-one i'm obsessed with high-waisted leggings in the gym i just think that i want them to sit really as high as possible just feel more comfortable um in them especially if i am sort of squatting and i have like depending on what i'm doing whether i'm doing an upper body or lower body i do wear different leggings so if i know i'm doing lower body i do tend to go for more of the sort of high-waisted one just because you're doing like a lot of like lunges and squats and all that sort of stuff but upper body i feel like you can get away with slightly lower waist what well, i feel like i can get away with slightly lower waisted leggings and the length of these as well is amazing they are so so nice so i'll just put on the top that also comes with this set because i think that in winter, as I say, I love a long sleeve top. So I would definitely say that most of my long sleeve gym tops are actually from Gymshark because they have support actually almost like in the top. So for example, when I go running, I like to wear, I just, I feel a lot more comfortable running in public when I've got something like this on rather than just a sports bra. And I feel like I can wear maybe a less supportive sports bra, but then put this over the top and you feel really secure. Like everything is very, very strapped down in here. Um, but yeah, it's great that these tops actually do provide that little bit of extra support, which I think is great. This one's cute as well, because as you can see, it's got the sort of like open back detail and obviously it's got the same sort of print on the back. So this is the white version of that black t-shirt. Just thought I'd put it on so you can see what the white one looks like. Obviously it's a slightly sort of see-through fabric, but I feel like that's fine in the gym. You don't you're not going to not wear something underneath it you're obviously going to have a sports bra on and actually if you wore a white one obviously it'd be less see-through but i like the fact that these are really sort of like lightweight i don't think you'd get too sort of like hot wearing them so i've got that same sports bra on i'm like in love with this sports bra. i feel like it even makes my boobs look good like i don't really ever get that sort of more sort of cleavage look but we're sort of getting it in this sports bra. Um, I've got a pair of, I feel like these are the OG Gymshark leggings. The Gymshark ombre is just one of my faves. I absolutely love it. I just feel like when they came out with an ombre legging, it was just like day slash life made. I just honestly think they're so nice. And then I think these are great because obviously I've got the best of both worlds. I've got my black and my gray. Again, these are made, these are actually made out of such a nice fabric. It feels like really secure. I, it's, I feel, <laughs> By describing gym wear is actually quite hard. Basically, they're a vibe. That's all we need to know. Um, and then I've also got a matching long sleeve top. I've actually got this top in another colour and I lived in it in winter. So I'm excited to have it in this colourway. How nice is this? I love it. I love the ombre. It's so, so nice. And it's the same as the other one. It's just added support. It feels like a sports bra top. It's great, it's not just like a top, it's like actually giving you everything you want a gym top to be doing. Let's move the camera down so you can see it. it's like a full, full set, but I love this one. It is honestly so nice. I mean, not that I'm wishing away the hot weather, but I want to be able to wear the long sleeve top in the gym. I just don't know if the weather is quite right for that at the moment. But hey, it is England. I mean, we'll probably be in Arctic conditions in like two weeks time. No, I can't say that. I'm not bringing any of that. I take it all back. It's going to be beautiful sunshine. I feel like my manifesting of a heat wave actually worked. So I've got to keep that going. Um, so like I said, I got all of these in the Gymshark sale. So they've got up to 50% off on the items. I'll link all the ones that I'm wearing below. So you guys kind of know what they all are. Because I know some of them potentially look sort of similar. So it might be quite hard to find. So you'll be able to find the links in the description. I'm going to take this top off oh honestly taking taking sports bras or any gym sort of tops off is actually a workout in itself and i think i'm just gonna wear this to the gym seeing as a minute and i love the leggings and i love the sports bra basically ready to go this is great
So it is such a beautiful sunny Saturday today. I'm off for brunch with some girlfriends. Um, we have a nice little drinking day in the sunshine. I honestly cannot wait. But before I head off, I was like, I need to finish this week's vlog. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching. So as I mentioned, the new SLA stuff will go live tonight, which when this vlog goes up, it will be Sunday at 6 p.m. And as I said, if you want to see a little mini try on haul, then make sure you head over to my Instagram so you can see it all with all the sizing information, all that sort of stuff. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.